B1, P1, workout D, density training. So density training, six exercises, going for the time allowed. Uh, we know the routine there. So what we're gonna begin with is a combo exercise, a power squat, to, uh, uh, power clean to squat. We've done these plenty of times. Pop it, catch it, squat it. Pop it, catch it, squat it. We're gonna be doing eight reps there. Um, so nothing really changes there. It's just making sure that as members go through that movement, that they're just not kind of dropping down and standing back up, right? It is eight repetitions, but we want to make sure that they're good quality reps. So make sure that members aren't rushing it. Take your time as you're going through that. Uh, we're going to pair that up with a two-handed kettlebell dead bug. We're just adding weight into the dead bug now. So I'm having the kettlebell face me. Uh, as I grab the handles, the, ball, uh, the bottom bell is facing upwards. Pulling my tailbone off the ground, tucking those ribs, extending one leg, bringing it back. Again, as you go through these, don't just fully extend to the bottom. That's when that hip have, uh, has a, uh, it pretty much, if you extend the leg fully to the ground, that hip loses its control and you dump the pelvis forward. So you want to make sure that you're maintaining this tight position. So those hips are pulled upward, those ribs are tucked, the core is tight. Uh, so just extend as far as you comfortably can. Then we're going to move into our half kneeling USB press. We're going to do five on each side. So as we're doing this, we're going to start in this half kneeling position. Depends on who you're working with. If I'm working with a member who has a tighter upper back, it'll be ideal to use the outside handles to go through my press. If I'm working with somebody who has uh, better shoulder mobility, uh, where they're not struggling to get into this top position, so they're keeping their ribs tucked, we're gonna go into fist loaded USB press. So, placing the bag onto the fist, press up, actively pull down. So the reason that the, the difference between the two is the wider hand, allows for us to get more range of motion on the shoulders if they're tight, and we bring in our hands closer, it narrows down the base of support so it makes it harder for us to press. The reason we're going into a half kneeling position is because it's gonna allow for us to focus more on the upper body helping out and making sure that we're getting the mobility and the stability that we need to go through this motion. So we're gonna do five on one side, switch the leg position, five on the other. Uh, as soon as you're done there, we're going to go into airplanes, and with airplanes, there's two variations that we could do. So this is our, before that was our upper body pushing, before that was our core, before that was our combo exercise, now we're getting into the single leg pulling. So with the airplanes, our goal is to make sure that we're helping members understand uh, single leg balance. So as I start in this tall and tight position, I hover my knee off the ground, I bend my knee and I reach my hips back with those arms coming up. As you stand tall to return to the starting position, make sure to place that foot down. I don't know why it is, but a lot of people think that they have to hover their foot the entire time. No, raise your foot up, bend your knee, reach your hips back, stand tall. If people are struggling to get through that full range of motion, what you can do is just go into a, a long kickstand position, meaning their toe will touch the ground and they're still going through that hinge. This is a unilateral pulling exercise. We're gonna pair, uh, as soon as you're done there, we're gonna wrap up with skull crushers and rib grabs. We know how to do the rib grabs. Uh, we've talked about them all this week, but what we're gonna wrap up with is the skull crushers. Now with the skull crushers, using the lighter kettlebell, we're gonna grab the bell, uh, the bell by the handles, extend so those elbows lock out, Bring it back down, slow and control above the head. So again, we just want to continue to help our members get the muscles that they really want to train. But we're still making them do the important things. 